Your mother worked at the laundry? From when she was 14. She'd strap me on her back or under the copper vats if I'd sleep. All the women did it who were babies then. Your employer allowed that? He'd have you back as soon as you could. He? Mr. Taylor. And uh, does your mother still work at the laundry? She died when I was four. I see. Fat tipped, scolded her. What of your father? Don't know him. And you've worked for Mr. Taylor? Part time from when I was seven, full time from when I was 12. Don't need much school into laundry shirts. I was good at collars, steaming the fine lacing, got the hands for it. I was made head washer at 17, full woman at 20, 24 now, so. You're young for such a position. Laundry works a short life if you're a woman. And why is that? You get your aches and your chest cough, crushed fingers, leg ulcers, burns, headaches from the gas. We had one girl last year poisoned, got work again, ruined her lungs. And your pay? We get 13 shillings a week, sir. For a man, it's 19. And we work a third more the hours. They're outside most days on delivery, so at least they're in the fresh air. What would the vote mean to you, Mrs. Watts? I never thought we'd get the vote, so I've never thought about what it would mean. <laughs> so why are you here? thought that we might, that this life, that there's another way of living this life. Sorry, my words are not... No, no. The finest eloquence is that which gets things done. Thank you. <laughs> 